Before we begin today's video, I just wanted to state that my commissions are open. You can see the prices on the screen right now, and that means that you're supporting the channel and you're supporting me as a creator, so that would be really nice if you decided to get something from me. So it, it would just really help. So um, thanks, I guess. On with the video. So, I recently started playing Animal Crossing New Horizons for the first time. One second, I need to do something real fast and perfect. This is more fitting. So, anyways, I've been playing Animal Crossing New Horizons, and it's an amazing game. I really enjoy it. There's a ton of things that are so fun to do with friends, especially during quarantine, where you have to play online instead of playing on the couch next to them. So, it's really fun to do that. Because of how much I played Animal Crossing over the past few weeks, because of quarantine, I decided to start doing a little drawing for it, and so this is basically the drawing. In the drawing, you'll see some of my villagers that I have, because I like them, and they're my favorites, so that's... So let's begin with the drawing. So as with most of these drawings, I start out by doing a little sketch of what I want each character to go, and where I want everything to be. It's very simple, and very flat, and laid out. Now it's time for me to draw Tom Nook, so I decided to have him be reading a book about how to make money because he's a capitalist raccoon that wants to get every inch of money off of you as he can. Up next is Weber, who is my favorite villager. He says qua, and he's adorable. He likes eating food, and he calls me Professor Pie. So I decided to have him catching some bugs because he likes having bug friends. So he's out walking behind Tom Nook with his bug net trying to catch some bugs. Up next we have Raymond, who is one of the most popular villagers in the game. And I have him fishing because that's something he does on my island a lot. Then we have Marshall, who is sitting down and just staring at the river because that's also something that he does on my island because he just sits in the flowers and just stares. Then we have my character who is swinging an axe at a tree. After this, we draw the tree and it doesn't get very detailed until later stages because I just wanted to get done with the sketch so I could actually start doing work on the drawing. So I start the inking and coloring of this drawing with Tom Nook like I did with the sketching phase and I'm just working on uh, making him a flat color and then I'm going to work on the shading later and make it look more like a 3D model. I do this with all of the characters as well. The most fun thing about Raymond is his heterochromia eyes which are really adorable and they're different colors meaning that I accidentally messed up and made them both the same color and so I changed it later. With Weber, you might notice that I had to reference the original image a lot because I had a hard time with the beak and the shading with one flat color. With Marshall, I had a bit of a problem with his eyes as they made him look a bit too angry, and I didn't want that because he's a rather cute character. So I had to move them farther from each other to make him look less angry. After I finish with the villagers, I start work on my custom character, and as you can see, I give myself a Pixar ball shirt because that's the shirt that I made for myself in the game. After all the villagers are done, I start working on the grass and the river, and I start adding some reflections and the side of the cliff that the river is going along. After that, it's time to bring in the trees, which is one of the parts I was dreading with this project because of how many leaves are on the trees. As you can see, for the tree, I decided to start out by creating a sphere and then placing a row of leaves along it and then copying and pasting it three times to create the tree's main three parts and then I copied and pasted the trees in order to make it look better. After the tree it's time for the town hall which I did not expect it to be as hard because I had to lay out all the bricks and perspective in bricks is not my strong suit so it was very hard for me to lay out all of that. As you can see, the town hall that I decided to draw did not go along with the plan that I had, and it's way more in line with the original 
reference photos. However, I think it's better for that. As you can see, I decided to add my town flag, which is Koholint Island from The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which is actually my town flag in my game, so it's pretty accurate. After that, I decided to start adding the triangles in the grass that Animal Crossing is most well known for, and that was really hard, so I decided to just copy and paste it. So after that, I start shading using a lower opacity layer, and then I start using a blur tool to make it have a more rounded effect. After those are done, I start adding clouds. So after six hours of drawing, my Animal Crossing masterpiece is finally complete. Are you ready to see it? Tell me what you think about in the comments below, but first I, I need to get back to my normal self, so here we go. If you like this video, then why don't give it a like, and if you want more content like this, then why not subscribe, because I, I produce content like this every week.